22-year-old Devi Balram lost her first baby on August 6, 2019. The child loved for just 32 hours. Speaking with the newsroom at her lot 117 Good Hope East Coast Demerara home, Balram said she wants justice for her child, whom she had named Arya. We all want justice for this child, so we're hoping that they come forward. It's just that I am, it's my first child and I'm very, very disappointed in that hospital. I had confidence in them, so just need justice for my baby. Balram said she joined the clinic in December 2018 and never had any issues. However, on August 4th, the date for her delivery, she explained she was struggling to deliver her baby, but the nurses kept telling her to push for half of an hour. Knowing the baby was stuck there for about half hour, and but they keep giving me confidence that, okay, she's about there, pushed one, two, three times. When the baby came out, the baby was blue and was not breathing. So <clears throat> they did the alert. Whoever came in the room, checked the child. She was not breathing. They start to... Um, Give her oxygen, pump oxygen to her like about half hour before she make a sound and they rush her into the nursery room. <coughs> From then I was like unconscious on and off, pain still and um, the baby, well a lot of things that they did to the baby, <coughs> they did not have like medical stuff in place for her. For example, the oxygen, there was an adult mask used in her on the wrong side. More other stuff like um, injections. Um, they said she had seizure, but when asked about how many times and the different, like how many times it happened and for how long, they couldn't give answers. The baby was later resuscitated but passed away just 32 hours after. Balram is accusing the nurses at the private hospital of negligence. When asked about the baby, they, they say that they're supposed to do a MIR on her, but they did not because they didn't have um, medical stuff in place. A portable um, oxygen they had need, they said they need to move her because of the seizure and they cannot, and, but they say they have it, right? But they did not. So. Later, on the 6th, 1 p.m., I happened to wake up and go into the baby room to see how she's doing, and then as when she passed away. According to the death certificate, the baby died from cardiac arrest due to severe birth asphyxia, intracranial hemorrhage, a type of bleeding that occurs inside the skull, and upper gastrointestinal bleeding. Severe birth asphyxia is caused by decreased oxygen before or during the birth process. Nandrani Kunja, Balram's grandmother, told the newsroom that the report was lodged with the Ministry of Public Health since efforts to get answers from the hospital proved futile. She is threatening a lawsuit against the doctor in charge and the hospital. You pay your money to have a safe delivery. You pay your money for your baby to be alive. You pay your money for all the equipment that they should have in the hospital. Right? That is what you pay us for. And nothing was in place. The newsroom reached out to the hospital for a comment at the weekend but was told that the doctor in question was unavailable until Monday. When contacted earlier on Monday, we were told that the doctor is unavailable and the medical superintendent is on leave. Bibi Katun reporting for the newsroom.